Hi. We're back, everyone. One six seven TVI. Wagwan. Sort of technically one six eight. Um, uh, regular listeners. We had to bin um, one off, bruv. We uh, might know that basically uh, we did record one last week, but um, we decided uh, not to put it out. Yeah. For it went out. It went on Patreon. And then we just made the executive decision to not put it out publicly because I don't think we were on the cutting room floor. I don't think we were very funny. No, I think we were both in a bit of a funny mood. Yeah, an unfunny mood. Yeah, (laughs) we were in a really unfunny mood. I was crying a bit. Yeah, and um, there was no crying, but we were just like, (laughs) I tell you, I I will say now, full disclosure as to why we recorded it on a Wednesday and it was the day before I was going to have to drop my mum off into the care home she now lives in and um and I won't lie that was weighing quite heavily on my shoulders mm. and How um, come? yeah it's weird isn't it I don't know why that would upset anyone having to put your mum in care like Christmas Eve isn't it against her not against her will she's got dementia she doesn't really understand but like she yeah just i i had to be the one to do it like yeah, that, and yeah. that was the thing that fucking that feeling of having to take somebody somewhere and then just were you of, on your on your own yeah you? and like I just my thought, phone was off that day i don't know why. <laughs> and i it, my car won't start and it's like when you, you know when i've not done it with twyla but when you you hear about parents taking their kids to the nursery for the first time yeah, yeah. And you have to sort of just fuck off and leave them. Ren actually said that to me today. Well, I was sitting having a croissant with her, and she was like, I remember when you portrayed me, Dad. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> she was in nurse. It was so funny that you just said But that's that, what yeah. I think it's like. And I was I... like, I didn't portray you. Yeah. They asked me to do it. And she said, no, they did I said, and her mum kind yeah, of yeah, yeah. verified. She was like, <laughs> no, Daddy wanted to stay there. <laughs> I did. I wanted course, to stay. yeah, yeah, yeah. But she said, I, I said, can I go and give my daddy a cuddle? Yeah. And they went, yeah. And I went there, and you were gone. Oh, God. I'm so glad I cleared that up. That's probably like in her head a little bit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Daddy pet- betrayed That's her. That's she's going to say it to you on your deathbed. <laughs> as she puts a pillow over your face. <laughs> uh, but that's what I had to do. I had to take my mum there. And like her arthritis was playing up that day. So I was like, are we going to go in and get some tests? And you're like going to this clinic. Uh, so that's why that was the way I sort of got her to like not be freaked out. That we weren't going to the doctor's like, normal place. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We drove and we got there. We went in and then they're all experts. She's, it's a proper like specialist. It's a four story care home. It's lovely. The, big lovely gardens it's really nice all the staff are nice and uh, there's two floors that are specialist dementia two floors, floors of horse <laughs> now my mum's in there damn it <laughs> <And> I... <laughs> It's like oh, four God. floors of halls, but it's two floors <laughs> of old people. Of, of halls who can't remember anything. Of old halls. <laughs> um, but no, I had to like, we went in and then the staff basically like just made us a cup of tea and started talking to my mum and they just tried to make it like really normal and they were mm. amazing. And then after about five or 10 minutes, they, they said to my mum, I will take you off for a little tour. Mm. And then I basically got taken around the side and was like, you, we think you should go now. It's for oh. the best. And I just had to just leave and I got in the car and How I was so feel? sad. Oh. And then I spent like a week. They, they they recommend not visiting for the first week because like you've got to let them settle. Yeah, yeah. And um, You said, can we do six months? <laughs> I like, I'm off latest. <laughs> Give me a call when she passes away. Um, no, and I was that's, that week afterwards I was in a bad way. Like, do you know I what bet. I mean? So um, that's why we this, we've only just now recording on a Sunday because uh, yeah this week was like not good mentally but then went to visit her for the first time and I was so shitting myself. Me and my aunt went and like we were both dreading it. We were like it's going to be really distressing. Hassle she's journey. She's going to get it? upset and uh, we thought it was going to be really hard. Mm. And it, honestly, I think on the bottom of the list, if I had to write how it was going to go, I think the last one I would have ever said is what actually happened. We walked in went up in a lift into the floor and then we walked in and she was in a communal area just chatting to some people, having a laugh. And she saw us and she was like, and she came over and like, it was the, it was just really nice. She was really Aww. happy. And then we went to her room and we snuck a bottle of wine in. So we'd had a glass of wine. And nice. Did you share it with her? <laughs> she did. We, we, actually, she's not meant to drink with her medication, but we did. Let we shared the bottle of wine and then like... They could do heroin at that point. Exactly, mate. And then I, ra- I snuck out, went down to Waitrose and got another bottle of wine. And we went out and sat in the gardens and just sat there in the sun drinking. Oh, nice. And then when we left, there was no drama. She just... She, I went, oh, you go and watch telly. We've got to shoot off. We'll be back in a few days. And she was as happy as Larry. Like, it was it was great. She looked better than she has done in months. What a month. relief for you that must be now. Oh, man, I feel like a different <clears throat> person. It's sort oh. of totally... It's like it's cleared this weight I had on me. I this bet. sort of... Cl- this blue... This cloud 
that was over me just seems to have just gone. Like the moment I left there, I was like, oh, right, I feel like now I can actually start oh, moving yeah. on with my life. It's so good. It's nice. But um, so, yeah, now I've just, I've just got a bit of admin to do. Yeah. For the, like, you know, finish Back up the into death our admin. Bank account. Yep, steal their money. Um, you know, it's going to be weird. That's the one sad thing is going to be clearing out the flat. That's a bit grim, isn't I it? I found I've, that hard with my dad. I, I popped in this week to put the bins out, and even just walking in there was just none of them there. And I was like, mm. oh, fuck, this is, that's a bit bleak. But, um, but yeah, it's, it's all, so now we're back. I'm back. I'm back in the game. On the game. <laughs> back on the game. <laughs> <laughs> Life happens, doesn't it? Yeah. Man? So, anyway, so now that's, that's why so last week's painful. episode didn't go out because I was not exactly on the funniest form. I tried carrying it, guys, but... Uh... But don't have the ability. <laughs> <laughs> but I had no ability. Yeah, it was. Um, so anyway, it's good to be back. It's going to be a slightly shorter episode this week because we, um, because we did leave it quite late to book the studio. There was only a one-hour slot. Second half still going on Patreon, but yes. both going to be a bit shorter, guys. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We've got Sergi. Sergi. You can actually do 30-30. Oh, we're going to do 30-30. Yeah, yeah, normally, yeah. in the recent months, we've been doing 45-45. Ah, 45. 45. Ah, 45 public, 45 for the 30 30 is nice, though. 30 30 is nice. Mm. Uh, I like it. You know, but... That's my... Is that your jean size? 30-30. 38. You're not a 38. You're not a 38 waist. Maybe in Spain. I don't know. Oh, no, 30. Yeah, 30, 38. 30, 38. 30, 38 I long. think so. Maybe what, You're a basketball I'll player. Go, <laughs> That's the longest legs I've ever you're heard. You ain't a 38. Catwalk model. I don't know. I, um, just, I always buy the same ones. Where do right. you buy your clothes? What jeans in do you wear? In a store called Cilio because it's the only ones that fit me. Okay. I have long legs. And right. How tall are you? About six, one, six? Uh, no, I think... I don't know. I think if I'm 5'11". Oh. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah but your um, legs are... are but you're mostly legs. On him sick. So you're about three quarters legs and it's a little <laughs> tiny torso yeah. at the top. <laughs> Just a couple, like a of, couple of nipples. Look like a Mr. Man. <laughs> couple of nipples on your waist. <laughs> nipples on <laughs> Belly button on your chin. Um, yeah, so, so, uh, you, people, have, you've, you've, yeah, people would have heard you before. You've yeah, I've done a before, few but, um, of you, yeah. Sergi is a very funny comedian who just got back from Edinburgh. Mm-hmm. Oh, your first fringe? My first fringe. Okay, it's, it's exciting. First excited. First one's well exciting. Yeah. <laughs> not, not for you, you hate it. But. I don't like it, yeah. Well, did you go this year? Oh. No. No, okay. Julian. No. Julian might be rushing back to the fringe. I actually said I Since went. Since the allegations. <laughs> I said I went on my Instagram. Oh, I said, that was really funny, actually. Oh, that was a, a very people, funny joke. Yeah, yeah. How did you find it? It was great, man. <laughs> so, um, but I, uh, I see. I love the fringe. This year, I, yeah, I couldn't go f- physically, but um, I do. I didn't, and I didn't miss it this year or anything. I didn't feel jealous because I had so much going on. But now, as it's as the dust is settling, I'm like, I definitely want to go up next year. It was nice. It was very dirty this year. I heard there was yeah. bin strikes, but it was awful. Like really bad. Yeah, because there was obviously a bit of criticism on. Like there was some like some comedians did some like you know litter picking stuff, and everyone was like that sort of goes against the whole point of the bin strike. Yeah, you know, it's about workers' rights. Yeah, I, some what, fucking, comics went some, around picking litter. So, yeah, a couple of them someone did. filming them. Probably. And then yeah, and then like so, and obviously they, then people were like, what did. the fuck are you doing? These people are striking because they want better working conditions, and a bunch of middle class fucking like students going up doing their. <laughs> Re- student review of like, like picking up litter it's like you're, yeah don't don't having I mean, a photo just, done with a bit of yeah litter. support the strikes um but yeah i heard it, it did Shit, look i saw yeah. photos it looked filthy it looked filthy I mean, but it was you could you could still walk and oh, every good. time whenever it, like, oh, what's not the problem there? <laughs> it's no. when you can't walk yeah, yeah, yeah. it's really too messy like no it's some like there were some corners that you can even cross but it was just a couple it was that bad was you, it like yeah, yeah, yeah. Fun, yes. i saw photos of like just yeah piles of rubbish around bin what's the funny thing is like you'd think most people would if you've got a bit of litter in your hand and you see, you know, because I get annoyed when people try and stuff stuff into bins that mm. are too full already and everything's coming out the side and people still just try and wedge shit in and knock more stuff out. Just take it home and put it in your bin at home. So what do bin men want? More money, obviously. Yeah, yeah, yeah. better conditions. Probably better working hours, like things like that. I actually weirdly um, woke up the other day. Our bins where we live are a Wednesday morning, right? And um, I woke up and my wife and daughter were in the front room looking out the window. And my wife was like, have a listen to this. There was a bin man and then farted. having a... <laughs> 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 um, 
You always get me without one, Hannah. <laughs> <laughs> Pull my finger. But there was a bin man crying out in the street. He, he had like, like and H- Hannah was like, "Why? Because he's a bin man." <laughs> I literally a minute ago, like support the bin men and strikers. Bin men get good money though, don't they? I don't know if that's. I think that's a bit of a myth. They make so much noise outside my. Oh my god! Well, especially when they're crying outside your window, (laughs) (laughs) wailing. He was having a real stress about like sort of his boss was sort of saying to him about how he's got to put the bins back or something, and he was like, he, he sounded like sort of Eastern European. And he was just going on about how oh, oh, he goes, oh, he goes really. <laughs> oh, fuck it. Oh, that explains it. All these stories start, innit? <laughs> <laughs> Here we go. Go on. What happened? <laughs> we just we just had a funny one of those in Starbucks. Oh, yeah. There was a guy on the phone. and We were just in uh, in the coffee shop next door. Just... Hang on. It was you. Not really. Yeah. But he um, <laughs> there was a guy talking so loudly but on his screaming. phone. screaming. Like, literally shouting. Ah, but the security funny... went over to him. He was so loud. But he was, he, and he was having a laugh. Like, he wasn't like angry. Or something. He was having a he was having what seemed to be the best, most excitable conversation of his life with somebody yeah. on the phone. But li- he literally was, you couldn't hear anything else other than him shouting in the in the shot. And um and he was um what was what 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 was his accent, do you think? I don't know. I think know. it could have been Middle Eastern. Possibly. No, Spanish. Spanish people we are very loud sometimes. Yeah, you Unfold. can be, but this oh, guy, no, this guy definitely wasn't Spanish. It was okay. it was um yeah, you know, it could have been Algerian. Turkish. Yeah, it could have been sort of but it was that funny thing. It was really loud. <laughs> Me and Julian like sort of went, oh, fucking like it's this guy. And then we realised we probably just looked like sort of a couple of it's Brexit. It's never fucking an English <laughs> accent, is it? <laughs> yeah, fucking coming over and shouting in our coffee shops. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, but we weren't doing that. We were just annoyed. Out loud. Everyone was annoyed. There was a poor guy sitting next to him. Yeah, like, just like made him laptop, jump. He trying went to like... work. And he's just got this guy shouting. A bit of screaming into his fucking phone. It was oh. annoying, man. But... Uh, for oh. how long was it? Oh, we went. Yeah, we left after about eight minutes. We of stormed out. Conversation. Oh, shit. And we flipped the table. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> smashed his People coffee. People like out you ruining this country. <laughs> <laughs> I think this it's country's worse. gone to shit. Because <laughs> <laughs> if it happened in the Starbucks, someone can tell something to him, like the stuff. But if it happened in the bus, because it happened to me a couple of times. Oh, yeah. No one's going to say No one's going to say No, no. Yeah. Uh, Who were you on the phone to? Um, no, not me. I, <laughs> oh, sorry. I had some people in the bus just like being so loud. Oh, my and it's just the worst. It's just rude, isn't it? It's yeah. just fucking that lack of awareness that there are people around you is mm. the thing. That's what I find. It's like, like they do it on purpose, it's selfish. Though. That's what. Yeah, it felt. It did. It does feel like that sometimes. Obviously, like if you get like some teenagers with their music playing and stuff. You, but you always have the typical old man that goes to them and they're like, "Hey, mate." Just yeah. turn the music I down. I love it. I love it when there's yeah. like an old geezer just goes, oh, can you not fucking shut up? And you're like, yeah, boy. I they don't give one, a shit. I've seen it once and it all kicked off on the train. But I was with Robbie and Connor. They were only little kids. And these two youths were going down a train starting on people. And this middle-aged guy just went out of Gartham. And they just ended up fighting each other. <laughs> and I was like sitting there with two kids. Just oh, like man. fucking leave it out, mate. You can't really go win Millen in when you got your kids nah, with you. I mean, I Because you can't, I don't, want them, <laughs> don't want them to watch you get beat up. <laughs> Daddy's in a headlock. <laughs> That'd be the most embarrassing thing, isn't it? If you're Being in a kid, headlock. And you try and be like a sort of grown up. Excuse me, guys, can you shut up? And they, never, just, they just totally iron I'll you never out. never say anything. You're just switching next to your kids on the floor. <laughs> just getting ironed. <laughs> just having some set, just having a really cosy cozy sleep. Uh, <laughs> what would you guys do? Because yesterday was on the tube and the, the kids were just playing like stripping on the, like, the bars oh, on yeah. the tube. What would you do as a parent if what, your kids do that? What? age were the children uh like probably seven and ten stripping what well a, like just pretending hunting, to be pole yeah, dancers. like monkey and then pole dancing and stuff oh like but they that. weren't like being sexual about <laughs> Come on, it. No. <laughs> we're getting their tits out <laughs> what were they wearing bro how much money did you give them <laughs> no i just did that makeup just, on uh no not at all but i'm just saying this because yesterday this happened and it was like if i was a parent that's I disgusting just them where to are stop. They? oh right yeah, yeah and the mom and the dad they both took their phones out and they were recording them and i was uh, like that's not a good i mean i won't lie <laughs> i'm um i'm quite bad for like if twyla's just like wants to just climb around and do some funny shit I tend to just sort of enjoy the fact that she's doing that. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? I'm not, some parents have thought like telling their kids, sit down, sit down. But I, I quite, I do sort of, I think I'm one of them dads that's a bit more like, I just want her to be free, man, and just like roam the world. Like, so whenever she's up to sort of being funny and just messing around, I'm quite uh, anti stopping her. I want her to sort of flourish. But I think that's the job of an uncle. 
because like my brother yeah. wants to have kids now and I was like I'm gonna spoil these kids big time and I your suppose. job is to educate them yeah but uh, my maybe. job is just like if I'm they not, want candy I don't I'm, think I'm gonna be a disciplinarian as a dad what I'm quite like? I'm be free strict. with Ren nah I can't just imagine you being wants. strict at all does what she wants I don't like if she's screaming or so if she's disturbing other people yeah 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 Oh yeah, I, I don't, I don't like get me that. wrong. And obviously, Twyla's too young yet to get to that point. But yeah. I'm not saying when she's like eight, if she's just fucking... slapping people, <laughs> coffee out her hands, <laughs> donkey punching people. I'm not sure, but um, I yeah, I don't. Th- I, I think I'll there. I would. I will sort of say no. But yeah, yeah. I think at a minute because she's so little and just wants to just go everywhere. But Ren around. swears and stuff. I don't. I just <laughs> laugh. That's funny. How old is he? She's nine now. Oh, she's. Right. When did she start swearing? We were talking about it today. Actually, she. This is no bullshit. She was being breastfed. We were talking. We had it on video. We can't find. We can't <laughs> Get your find it out of my mouth. <laughs> we can't find the video. Any, Get she your was, fucking tits out, mum. She mom. was breastfed until she was quite old, though. Yeah, like, yeah. Gone too. I mean, it's Twilight still uh, breastfeed. And um, and I, I I went over and I had the camera and I'm filming her and I said I said I spoke to Ren and she come off the boom and she went fuck off you can't. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> But it's on camera, <laughs> and I, I, I can't find it anywhere. Oh, my God. I mean, God. It, it all started when I said to her, um, her mum called her in the bedroom, and I said to her, tell mummy, fuck off, you can't. I thought it'd just be a one-off, just a ridiculous oh, thing. That is, that is year old, it, apparently. And she went in, but she looked like a little angel, like big lips, like little pigtails, little flowery dress. She's only about one and a half. Oh, my God. And she went wow. in and she went, fuck. And her mum really reacted. Uh. <laughs> and so since then, she just had that phrase. That's and I remember yeah. in a nursery, her fir- my first parents' evening, uh, like you go in there yeah, yeah. parents' day or whatever. And um, I had to go on my own. And I said, look, sorry if she swears sometimes. And they were like, what? No, <laughs> no she doesn't. Why would you say? Like, I was like, because so I, th- just... I thought she'd accidentally swear but she never has she knows to just apart from with house. me she does with you yes yeah, so I, don't, nice. I don't mind that shows that she's conscious that it's yeah. not you know it's not for public consumption yeah I think that's better than not even swearing it's just like you know that those words I like exist, it yeah, but yeah. she, so she says motherfucker <laughs> A nine-year-old girl <laughs> she said I've got a video on my Instagram of when I was homeschooling and I'm following in the lift and I'm talking to her and she swears at me oh, I remember quite that funny, it's really yeah. funny it went a bit viral on, yeah, didn't, tic- didn't on you uh, get Twitter. Some, someone like tried to. There was a couple of people that are like that little posh kid, little posh twat. Like she's not even posh. Yeah, like, yeah. But it was, um, I, man, that fucking like annoyed me. I wanted to DM. I wanted to get in his DMs, but yeah, yeah, yeah. just allowed it in it. I put it out there. <laughs> That's it. Yeah, it's a hard one to. Don't put anything on the internet if you don't want somebody to say something shit. About exactly. It. That's what. That's what it's there for. It's just there for dickheads to reply to stuff. But um, but yeah, that's um, we we don't not swear around Twilight. Like we're not, you know, some parents just like I didn't hear it. Oh, sorry, sorry. <laughs> well, I just lost. Was that sound. just the earphones? Yeah. Uh, yeah, it's just because the memory is fine. It's fine. Oh, oh cool. Oh. Yeah. Um, well, yeah, we st- we definitely like we don't sort of we're not like fucking cunt around the house or anything. But like, I will still come but, here, you little shit. But, yeah, but yeah, we still swear now and again around her, like. As yet, she's just not copied. It will happen, though. Well, my dad had a fucking potty mouth, man. And yeah. like, but I would get in trouble for swearing, but he's swearing all the time. Yeah, it's not on. It's like, fuck off, cunt. <laughs> <laughs> I remember once he was shouting at me to go upstairs to bed, and I didn't want to go, and he was, I turned around and I just swore at him. I was like, you can fuck off. Like, <laughs> but it, it broke him a little bit. He went, they just weren't expecting it. <laughs> and that's when I got a bit of power, yeah. I think. Yeah, so I carried on with that. I don't think... I think I could swear from quite young. I think because my, my dad, had, he was... Yeah, he was... He swore like a trooper. Yeah. And um, I think I... Yeah, I, was, I, I think they had the awareness that it was a bit hypocritical for them to swear and me not to be allowed. I think it's quite shocking for me in this country, the swearing thing. Cause, uh in, in Spain and I think in other countries they just Fuck swear off, a mate. lot what do you because what um, it's just not swearing is not a big thing in Spain oh n- no it's just like because here sometimes it's a big deal it's like we don't have things like as oh the C word or the S yeah, word yeah, so yeah, to yeah, prefer yeah. to a word we say the word in Spain some people even use the N word and it's fine Ooh. I didn't know it, I always say this to people as an example I didn't know I couldn't use the N word until someone told me right yeah was it too late when someone... It was too late. <laughs> <laughs> 
I was actually opening I'm, your Edinburgh show. No kidding, oh, I was in the God. Bronx in New York, and no. I, I called the black guy that. And no. he, oh my oh lord! My God. He saw that I wasn't aware of it, so and he told me very nicely. With his fist. With a gun in your face. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking hell. Wait, yeah. So, don't say the word, but what was the sentence? Um, I was in the supermarket. <laughs> Get out of my way, you fuck it. <laughs> I was in the supermarket and I just felt, first of all, when I got to the Bronx, because when I went, when I moved to New York, it was like, no one here is going to speak um, Spanish. I have to speak English with everyone. Oh my God. I was wrong. Everyone, like a lot of people speaks um, Spanish. Oh, yeah, Because of of, like, there's a huge Latino community. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah. there is a, a, a black Dominican guy and... Um, I was just, I helped a lady that didn't know how to speak English. And then when we left, I helped him doing something. And when I say goodbye, I said, yeah, good goodbye in the N word. And he was like, whoa. And oh. yeah, we just had a chat and I was like, oh. So, but, uh, just to get some context <laughs> in this. <laughs> when you say it's like, it's not a problem in Spain. Yeah. Would you say like, it just where, normally then? What, why? Because what does, I, I don't understand. I need to know how is that word? Yeah, it's like the F word for gay people. Yeah. We also use it because what it matters in, in in Spanish is the context. So I can call my friends um, whatever I want because they're my friends. And yeah. they know I'm not homophobic or racist. Right. So it's fine for us. So what it matters is the context. Right. Or if I'm telling someone something um, like, oh, this person called the N word, blah, blah, blah. Yeah. I can actually use the N word because I'm not. Oh, I see what you mean. So, that, yeah, you don't <clears throat> sort of, if you're putting a thing in, a, if it's in the context of a sentence, mm -hmm. you don't, in Spain, the culturally, it's not like you don't have to then sort of hush that word. Yeah. You can just actually say it because people aren't going to go like, <gasps> you yeah. said it. I suppose. I mean, you use it a lot, don't you? Like, but when the just mic's so on. Just on WhatsApp. <laughs> I don't. I don't. Never use that word. I've, um, I'm sure I told the story on here about how I overheard somebody say it in a queue oh, yeah. in Devon, and I literally almost got into a fist fight because I turned around and had a real wow. word with the man about his choice of language. But um, but yeah, it's um, what other one? What other stuff in like the Spanish language have you have you found any weird? Um, sort of you no, know, mainly those. Here? We use any word. I remember I also have a, a black friend that is Spanish here, and one day he asked me to call him the N word in front of a British person, like in a small, <laughs> just the three of us <laughs> in the room, just to see their reaction. Yeah, yeah, Because yeah. for him was very like was funny. Cause, yes. Um, he knows. In Spanish, I can use this word because, you know, he's my mate. He knows I yeah, yeah, don't yeah. care. And it was just like a funny situation. And just mocking the, the British thing or, or like the English thing of not being able to use this word. Yes. So have we didn't have... Have you seen that TikTok video where they're going around <coughs> with a camera and a mic and they're paying people to say it? No. These black guys are. And they go up to this. They go up to, I think it's in America. They go up to this like um, middle class American woman. She's going. She's crying, saying no one should ever say that word. And then this big guy comes over, grabs the mic, and just goes. But, but, you can, but then it cuts the video. It's, it's fucking brutal. You just don't give a fuck. Oh man. Oh, someone's like, I'll say it for free. It's fucking mad. mad. It's Absolute mad. Crazy. But, um, it's the worst word in the English language, in it. I think it's, it's forbidden. I think yeah, because it's got such a connotation, like you know, the history of it, especially in like America as well, because of you know it's the, where it comes from and how it came mm -hmm. to be a slur. It's got such weight on it. Yeah, yeah, that yeah. That is the worst, and, I, and naturally because Britain gets a lot of sort of a uh, you know Americanized. I mean, other words try and be as bad, don't they? Like f faggot and stuff like that. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, yeah, that's bad. That's Tranny a... or stuff, you know, there's others. Yeah. What other words? Well, they've all been phased out. Because yeah, yeah, yeah. But the N word has just got a whole crazy. Mm. I suppose, yeah, because it's got so much history to it, I yeah. think, would be why it's the worst one. Um, mm. But yeah. and But I think other ones, because other ones are sort of tend to be short lived, isn't it? Mm. Like, sort of, and then something like. Like we've yeah yeah saying tranny that like now feels so old fashioned, isn't it? That's well, what I people used. Tranny to... was short for transvestite. Well, that's what it used to not be. Transgender. But that's what it used to be when yeah. But then since then, the culture has changed so much. Yeah. And there's way more trans people around. It's much more like, sort of in the normal sort of sphere of existence that actually that word suddenly suddenly became a, a negative, didn't yeah. it? Yeah. That that's why sort of so. But it's quite short lived. That's probably over what twenty years or something. Whereas the N word's got hundreds of years of. Yeah. Terrible use, use. In, in your house. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, anyway, I don't even know how we got onto that. How was Edinburgh is what we asked. And that's something we had yeah, a 20 very, minute very conversation deep. about the M word. But it was great. I think it was, uh, I cannot compare it to other fringes. So I don't know how yes. the other ones were. 
but uh, it was very it sounds nice. like it was a good one for like busy yeah. busy um, busy so. well actually they think they sold the 20 25 percent less tickets yes. than other years it was like yeah, it was quarter, i mean shows so. wise there was a lot of shows maybe yeah. that reflected in probably um yeah. it was very hot as well some days well less, i heard it was good travelers. good weather that's like yeah. i've had i've had washout years man i've been to edinburgh years where i swear it rained every day and it's oh, miserable God. and every room you go in is hot as fuck like when it's but even it, Edinburgh venues are famously hot, right? You mm. know, but it's worse when it rains because everyone comes into these hot rooms wet, and it's like a sauna in it. it yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Moist. Whereas Damn. when it's just warm out, you just yeah, you're just fine. I remember doing the caves once? You're on stage and a drip would fall yeah, off, yeah, yeah, just yeah. land on your hand. Yeah. <laughs> it's so oh. dank. The caves that used to have like dead bubonic plague victims yeah. in it. It's just like plague juice <laughs> yeah. falling on you. It's disgusting. It's dripping down. Also lots of shitty rooms. Of shitty in, rooms. Uh, shitty rooms in a way that that's not the room for a comedy. Oh, comedy, yeah. That, I mean, there is that famously, they'll just put a gig in any room. There's oh, no, no, nothing safe like in Edinburgh, man. But um, yeah, but it's, then, yeah it's, but it's also that's part of the fun, isn't it? It's sort of this Is mad, it fun? But I think there's something fun about just, you know, a whole city suddenly becoming this hmm. creative every, space. Every floor space is like a show, is it? Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, it's nice. Even schools I, and Yeah, stuff. I definitely would like, I would, I would like to go up next year with a new show. The Dead Dad Show, mate. I was telling you, I'm going to finally get to do one. Everyone seems to do a Dead Dad Show and, you know, sort of a fa- it's almost like a, a tro- an Edinburgh, famous Edinburgh trope is seeing somebody do their My Dad Died show. So it'd be quite funny to do a take on that. that I did a dead a dad bit. joke actually when my dad died. What was the joke? Do still do it. I had oh. one about the lighter. Yeah, yeah, that's a good joke, though. What's the joke? I won't say it now. Oh, okay, fair enough. They have to come to see you live. Good. Yeah, they have to see me live. What have you got there? Oh, I see your inhaler. Yeah. What's the new? That's diff- a different inhaler. I've not seen that one before. I'm looking for my other one actually. How many inhalers you got? Um, that one I don't really use. This one I use. Yeah. How often do you have to use it? Um, I haven't really been using it much, you know. Just maybe once every few days or something. Okay, it's all right. I went climbing today up a climbing wall. How high was it? Fucking high, man. Like, Did you have a rope on? Yeah. Okay, yeah. Yeah, yeah you've got a harness. I, went, I took Ren. Cause she's going back to school Monday, so I've been doing loads of stuff. It's cool, man. Yeah, it's really good, man. Mm. It's fucking... Um, I don't know why I said that, but it might have affected my asthma. <laughs> yeah, maybe. <laughs> Do you, um, like, what, is there a point when you get up it when you start looking down? And I didn't look down. She kept looking down, so she was not going right. To, I mean, it was high, man. She, she was getting better each time, but she was a bit frustrated when we went. Yeah. Um, but I just didn't look down, really. I just went right to the top. She was filming it, so I fucking at it. Yeah, of course. But, you know what I mean? I, I'm, I, because I'm not, I'm not scared of heights. But also, I have been on things that have been higher that I've suddenly gone like, this is still making my... I went on a fairground like, ride with her. Willy feel weird. Like early, like. Earlier in the year, and she wanted to go on it. And it's it's like an umbrella thing, so it goes round. Oh, yeah, so yeah. you're going... But then it goes it goes up, and it's so fucking high. Yeah, I've been on it. I was absolutely <laughs> terrified. <laughs> I went I'm on... I'm praying to God so, yeah, so that it, it hurries it, up. So it spins around, and you're on the chair. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I went on one of them. And it's going up, and... And I looked up and there was so much more to go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was fucking horrific. There was one of those at the, the there was a underbelly fairground uh, on South Bank in London about seven years ago. And me and my mate Rich went on that, one of those things uh, on acid. We dropped some acid and we were just getting into the sort of like, you know, oh fucked God. up thing. And we saw this fairground ride and we were like, we're going on it. And we got on it, and it was just the worst experience of your life. It was like it was overwhelming, like just how it was high and everything was spinning, and we were on acid. It just felt too much. I couldn't like, even look. At I felt it like I was going to explode or something. I can't. I can't do it, man. Yeah, it's um, it was it was a real. Uh, I used to go on shit like that though, like all the time. Yeah. Can't is it the it ones that the chairs are held by like small chains? Yeah, yeah, like, yeah that's the and mad thing. Like, isn't yeah, it? You're as high as a not fucking clamp- skyscraper. <laughs> and, I, and I'm starting thinking, who's bi- is this health and safety? Yeah, 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 yeah. Like, who are these people? I know. Yeah, because when you're up there, you just check the chain and you're like, this is actually very thin. Yeah. Yeah. You would, yeah, you wouldn't trust it to like lock your bike up. Yeah. But exactly. you'll trust it to hold you I into a I spinning. Tr- I wouldn't tr- trust these people to like park my car. <laughs> 
<laughs> yeah, then me and my daughter are fucking 200 feet in the air on a chain. This is fine. It's five pounds. <laughs> it's fucking like, they're we- yeah, I don't know. It's just weird. Yeah, yeah. Like, what you trust them with. Mm. Fuck that. Um, but uh, yeah, it's I, it's that weird thing where like, I'm, like, I'm even I'm not scared of heights. That I've, yeah, I remember that time being like, this is, and I mean acid, that, the acid obviously did it, it, it influence that feeling. But it would have been quite a lot to take and not on acid. But it was just it was too much. I mean, my eyes were streaming with water, like, and I couldn't work out if I was crying or if I was laughing <laughs> or if it was just the wind. But I just remember just like tears coming out. <laughs> I'm just in the sky, just crying. <laughs> Every orifice is weeping. <laughs> <laughs> 